I came out Sunday morning to find that my 2020 Kia Nero plug-in hybrid had a flat tire. So I went to the tire mobility kit, which I hoped I would never have to use and just started unpacking it. I was really not in the mood to read through the manual, so I just looked at the pictures on the little pump and tried to figure out how all the different parts and pieces went together. And it was fairly explanatory, you know, you just have to hook up this one tube to the tire and it will connect to the can of fix a flat that then snaps into the pump itself and it all goes fairly quickly. I can see it being difficult on a hot day, but um, that snaps together. And um, it was a little awkward, especially putting the canister into or onto, clipping it into the pump mechanism. I found a little difficult that it might've been Sunday morning that was the problem, but I finally figured that it kind of snaps in there. And there you go, Kev, you finally got it. Now, how do we get power to this pumping machine? So it just plugs into the 12 volt outlet that I have right there and uh, plugged it in, started the car, and now I've got power to the 12 volts and to the pumping station. And once you turn it on, it's this is time lapse, you know, really quick. And but you can visually see the tire pumps up fairly quickly uh, with the pumping ne mechanism going, and you can see the psi of the tire. And you know when you're in the green zone that you can turn it off and then unhook everything. And it's that's done. You're you you're good to go. I, I was really happy over the pro whole process. The fix a flat that comes with the Kia Nero worked very well. I just followed the little picture instructions because when I came out and saw the tire was flat, I really didn't want to sit down the, and read the manual. And being a guy, if I can't figure out what the pictures, then there's a problem. So it all went together we saw that we pumped it up to 40 psi and then i took it to a tire repair place they pulled out the screw and fixed it one of the things they asked me was did you use the fix a flat from a can because oftentimes if you use that goop they can't repair the tire you have to buy a new one so i didn't know how this stuff was going to work and um, they were able to repair it so whatever Kia and these manufacturers use on the fix a flat stuff doesn't cause that goopiness and they're able to repair the tire as opposed to having to completely replace it. Now, the benefits of having a spare tire would be that if I was on a vacation, I could have you know, gone for several hundred miles because they only tell you to go for like 20 miles or not even that much, you know, get it fixed. Um, but in a pinch for an old guy like me to be able to just set this up and get the tire pumped up so I could get some place to get it repaired, that, that was wonderful. And I could see someone that had less strength than I and just didn't want to deal with it, you know, cranking up uh, the car, you know, putting on the spare tire and everything, um, especially if you didn't have AAA or something like that. Fix a flat that comes with most cars today really works. So I'm happy. Now I just need to buy a new canister of this so I can keep it in the back of my uh, Kia Nero in case I have another flat tire from a screw. Um, but this is the first problem I've had with any of these tires uh, with the Kia Nero. So knock on rubber, that's the way it'll be until I replace the tires or change out for a new EV as opposed to the plug-in hybrid. So do not fear if you have the fix a flat, they work.